Hello folks, welcome to Light Source Engraving or welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you for clicking into this video. I do appreciate it. Quick channel update. I've transitioned from part-time job to full-time job at a different company. It's been a struggle with the change in hours, change in schedule. And I'm finally at the point where I think I can get back into making videos and I'm going to dedicate time for that on my off days. So here's the first one. Today we're unboxing the Hansmaker F1 Pro 20 watt fiber laser engraver. It's a nice little portable size fiber laser. So let's unbox it, test it out and see how it works. And we're also going to tear it apart because today we'll be using a 3D printed unboxing knife red, white, and blue themed. And you slide this to open it and then slide it back in to lock it in place. Just use the standard utility blade. And I'll link the print profile for this in the description. It's on the Bamboo Maker World site. All right, we do have a pair of safety glasses. We have our Ugreen data cable, Ugreen USB cable, the owner's manual. have the shield we have our power supply this is an electric lift arm and base laser and here we have all in one a laser source galvo electronic just in one simple unit that's pretty cool so installation of this source onto the lift is very simple. It's just one thumb screw and then so there's a recess on the underside right into the plate and then the thumb screw tightens it in place. Now we can peel this off, spin it around and look at the connections here on the back. USB light burn, SDS rotary extension, lifting DC 12 volt. So let's open up our cables. And I like that they supplied U-Green cables. Those have a very good reputation. So this is for the lifting. So one plug here and one plug here. Next, we have our USB cable, which will go to our PC. And the third cable, is our power. All right, now that we have all of our cables plugged in, we'll spin it back around. Here's a little inspection card. It says that it has passed inspection. And then we also have a card with our lens corrections already on it that we can enter into light burn. And here's product, model, power, serial number. Manufacturer even has their name and address. Little enclosure that comes with it has magnets so it will just connect right up under underneath the machine and we are ready to turn it on. So let's hit the power button which is right here on top of the handle. Let me show you that lit up in green and then we have our touch buttons for up and down so it is now powered on. Let's raise it up. Things cover off. And there is our protective cover. So that's a nice little mechanism for that, just to hang on there with magnets. Secure enough, it's not going to fall off, but easy enough to remove. So far, I'm liking everything that I see. This is a nice, smooth up and down. We have our red laser pointer. Everything's secure. It's not wobbly. Through the bubbles just a little bit to that back line. And let's see. 
looks to be in about the same spot. So it looks like, looks pretty level to the base. All right, and I have it plugged in to the PC with the USB extension. So I'm at the PC and I'm on the Hansmaker website and they have a driver that you need to install to use this laser because it runs a BSL controller card. So we have to download and install this driver. And then we have our light burn operation guide. So let's see exactly what that has. All right, so it's telling us to download light burn. We've already done that. Connected device guide. So we download the driver install the driver, do find my laser, and then we wait for it, and then we'll set it up according to this guide. So let's download the driver, extract it. All right, it's extracted and installed. So now let's plug the laser back in. All right, now we have our laser plugged into the, to go to devices, find my laser, click next. And there it is, BSL fiber. We'll add the device. Hit next. Consmaker F1 Pro. Numbers are correct. Hit finish. Then it'll be at the bottom of the list. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to stick it right here. Hit OK. And then I'm going to select that from our list. And we have turned to ready and found BSL device. We are making progress. So the first thing I'm going to do is enter these numbers from this card. So I'm going to spare you the time that it takes to enter. But you'll notice there's also the tick boxes for Galvo 1 is axis in reverse direction so it shows you which way those should be flipped either on or off left to right so i will input that right now now i'm going to make a 50 by 50 box and what i'm going to do is set this to the line now let's frame that on the laser this should tell us when we're at our ideal focal distance let's hit start and see what happens all right we do have our line there let me measure that right on the money at 50. Well, let's measure where we're framing. All right, and the red dot is right on through the red red framing. So we're good with framing. And uh, let me get a black card instead of silver this time. Now let's run that without the cover. And it engraved exactly where the framing line is. So we know that our offset and scale and everything for a red dot is good. Now let's run one more test and see how it does. All right, that did great. All right, first test is successful. Now what we're gonna have to do is go in here and get our jump settings and timing set up, but we'll do that at a later date and time. First thing I want to do is open this guy up and check and see exactly what the laser source is. All right, so I cut some foam packaging to use as a riser on each side of the handle so that I have a nice stable place to work. We'll take this warranty sticker off. And they have said uh, there's an external red dot laser pointer. All right, screws are out and I'm going to disconnect touch buttons there, disconnect our power, and set that off to the side. And then here is the actual fiber laser source. There's where it enters into the Galvo mirror. So there's a Galvo mirror controller. We try to pull the rest of that cover off. All right, these wires are keeping that from sliding out. I'm not going to disconnect all this stuff, but here you can see this is the laser source here. 
There's the fiber optic cable running out, and the manufacturer stickers say Hansmaker. So they actually made this laser source and put this package together, which is a really nice little all-in-one setup. And it's not too heavy, easy to move around. Let me put the lens cap back on and just set it right there like that. That was all pretty easy. Easy to tell which way this goes back on by the way it's made. Get these plugged back in. Now we hope it's assembled correctly and everything uh, works and I didn't knock anything loose. I do want to show you as an indention on the underside of the laser head and it fits over this square. So you'll see there's the indention. So it nestles right down in there. Thumb screw and we're back in business. This is a nice little setup. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, we're back to framing again. So hopefully everything was connected properly. Okay, so let's go to the Hansmaker website. And I'll have a link in the description, an affiliate link, if you're wanting to check one of these out. Right now, current price is $14.79. 110 lens, goggles, and the cover. That's what comes with it. 24-month warranty. So you have a two-year warranty and a 30-day return policy. And you buy it and you get Lightburn Pro license included. And I know they are working on getting their rotary. They're showing using it portable. I have engraved a refrigerator before. So you can check out specs on the website. So I think it's pretty awesome that Hansmaker makes the source and put all this package together so you can adjust it from 3 to 100% power in light burn. Let's get a scale out and weigh this thing. All right, I've got it on a scale and it is weighing in base and tower included at 15 pounds, 10 ounces. So if we were to take it off of the base, it's going to be even lighter. It's not that heavy, so it's not too hard to work with if you're gonna use it portable. They're boasting that their laser has a lifespan of 80,000 hours. They're also going to have a 175 by 175 lens as an option. So I've been putting it through its paces with utility blades. So I want to show you a few of these. So it's been doing a really good job with these utility blades. I've done a lot of them and it just keeps on going so stay tuned for more videos i'll test some more materials and try to work on a settings library in the future for 20 watt and i need to do the timing uh, because timing didn't come from the manufacturer so i need to get that figured out and that will improve the quality of these engravings significantly as soon as we get that timing figured out so thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to, you can join me over on Patreon. Link is in the description. I'm going to be more active over there, I promise. And uh, that's all I have for today. So let me know in the comments what you think about this little 20-watt laser in the complete package. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do promise to start paying attention to the comments now that I am back. All right, that's it. And most importantly, everyone, have a great day, and I will definitely see you in another one.